Sorry about that. Um, I had to take a little bit of a break. Um, I was starting to get a little bit of anxiety. So I do apologize for that. But um, anyways, back to the second part of this video now, which I had never intended it to be a part two, but um, so I'm at my attorney's office and like I said, I had been there quite a while. It was probably close to about two hours and we're wrapping everything up and this whole time while um, I'm there, you know, there was a couple things that we had to deal with that were causing me anxiety and she kept reassuring me like if it's too much today we'll do it another day if you're able to like take a couple minutes and compose yourself and we can try to work on it great if not we're not going to worry about it and that helped out immensely because I didn't have that pressure because again like and this may have been in the first part of the video. I don't remember exactly where it cut off. But that did make a big difference. Because especially when you're dealing with like workman's comp. Which thank God I'm done with. Um, you get asked question after question after question. And it, you always have to be right about it. And you're talking years of information. Um... So that, that was very nice to have that pressure kind of relieved. Um, but then when I was wrapping things up, I w tried thanking her for taking, you know, time out of her day to, you know, help me with this and everything like that. And she said, well, you're welcome, but I also wanted to thank you as well. And quite honestly, I was really taken back by it because I... 99% of the time I view myself as a burden I'm not working I'm disabled physically and mentally um, right now thanks to everything that's going on with my apartment um, I don't have my kid so not being a very good mom right now um, I don't feel like my physical disability is getting any better, um, because my body's hurting a lot worse right now. So I'm frustrated with that. Um, and again, I, I, not only do I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything, I, I just, I, I feel like I'm useless to everybody. So for somebody... To say thank you and genuinely mean it really took me back. And after I composed myself, I asked her, you know, for what? And she, it, it, she was basically thanking me for giving her insight into what anxiety can really truly do to a person. Um, and that it can become debilitating. But all it takes is, you know, a little bit of time and effort and, like, if you can just take a little bit of time and try to get to know something about that person, it can make all the difference in the world. And I've made her realize that People with anxiety, it truly is an issue and it doesn't mean that you're being a drama queen or you need things your way or anything like that. It, it truly is horrible and debilitating and there are certain things you cannot do. Um, so to be able to teach, um, you know, an attorney something like that and be thanked that was pretty cool and then she let me know that one of her kids um is suffering from anxiety and it's helped her um come to terms kind of with what's going on with her daughter and um you know that it's not her daughter just being dramatic like these are truly issues and um it's just given her more insight into it. So, 
I don't know. It, like I said, it was pretty cool. Um, because I felt like I finally did something right, maybe. Like, at least somebody's getting something out of this experience. Because that's what I've always wanted from anything that I have gone through. I mean, yes, I have wanted vindication, um, things like that. But ultimately, I want, I don't want, if it's something horrible, I don't really want anybody else to experience that ever again. And if me going through it helps somebody else not have to go through it, I would rather that. Um, that's what I have always hoped from being able to talk about being raped. Because I don't want that to ever happen to somebody again. Um, dealing with domestic violence. Horrible to go through. Um, hope that I will never go through anything like that again. Um, but I definitely don't want anybody that I know going through it. Um, workman's comp. Um, you know, when I went through it, I didn't really know anybody that had gone through it. So I kind of went through that whole process blind is what it seems like. And the workman's comp is horrible, absolutely horrible. And I definitely hope that I can help anybody, um, that has to go through that process, um, because it's a horrible, horrible process. Hopefully, um, you know, with this disability thing, um, you know, after I have my hearing on March 4th, fingers crossed it's going to be good news, and I'll be able to help somebody else that's gone through this process. Um, so maybe me... Having anxiety, I guess, on the positive side of that, it's opened um, at least one person's eyes to the seriousness of it, um, the fact that it really does exist, um, and the different things that you can do to kind of help somebody with um, this type of disability. And hopefully that's going to help um, her and her child's relationship. I would like to think that it would. Um, so anyways, that was the cool story that was my day. So anyways, I am going to try and go to bed and I will upload something again soon. Hope everybody's doing well.